Terry Warman explains how she created an Empire State College booth at the Open Simulator Community Conference. So welcome everyone. My name is Terry Warman and I'm a first year student in the Mallet of Arts um, in Learning and Emerging Technologies here at Empire State College. And I'm standing in front of our exhibit area at the Open Simulator Community Conference 2014 is happening uh, this weekend, November 8th and 9th. So the idea is we got this exhibit space and it allowed us to create a space that hopefully people who come by can actually learn more about Empire State College, about our program, the degree program, and also to be able to send some examples of students work that they're doing right now, especially in our uh, practicum in virtual worlds. Uh, this build was actually part of my practicum um, in trying to learn not only more about how do you create a conference in virtual world, but also just to this is actually my first attempt at do a build in open simulation. This is our Empire State College Mallet exhibit area. So as you can see in this area, I wanted to let people see a couple of examples of our class in virtual worlds. We have some pictures of both our classes in both Second Life and in Kitely, which is an open sim um, world that um, some of us are working in. And we'd also put an example of a recent demonstration by one of the students, Doris Hernandez. And so it was a hello from the Mallet students as we were doing crazy things in Second Life. So in this area, um, I created a couple of boards that actually allow people to go and look at both Empire State College and actually the Mallet program. So um, this board has the website attached to it so that people can literally, while they're here, scroll through and see what the program's about, um, how we do things. The information booth that you see behind me has some pictures of some of the places in Second Life that Empire State College has uh, with our classrooms um, and other places that we all work in. And then um, immediately behind me is also another board that shows people a website that I created. And I actually put examples of uh, students in our practicum, uh, the work that they're working on, so people can actually click on it um, to see more information, to go to their site um, and learn more about uh, the many things that uh, students here in the Mallet program are doing. Back in this area, I actually um, created examples of some of the students' work so people can take a look at the variety of things that students are doing. And we also included a mobile van that's in the back that actually uh, Professor O'Connor has used a mobile healthcare van that allows students to actually go in. It's a learning classroom and be able to talk to professionals about um, how to prevent the spread of diseases. So it just gives attendees who might be here an opportunity to see an example of a learning environment that they might be able to use in a virtual world. So we've already had a couple of people who have stopped by um, the booth. And because, um, as one of the presenters at the conference, Philip Rosedale said early on, that you know, virtual worlds can really be a place to build community. And so we've already had a couple of people who have stopped by the booth, and we were able to uh, tell them more about what our program is, the degree program, about Empire State College and the Mallet program. And I, that's the reason why I tried to create this space the way I did so that uh, there's an upcoming break in the conference. So we're hoping there will be a lot more people who will stop by and actually be able to talk to students, find out what we're doing. And the whole idea, I think, around the Mallet program and the work that we've been doing, we meet in Second Life, we meet in Kitely, we're actually students from across the country that actually get a chance on occasion to be able to be in the same space, to be able to talk about our projects, to be able to collaborate with each other, 
or be able to make suggestions, get inspiration from what our other classmates are doing. And this whole idea of being able to learn from each other and meet and build the kind of community that we could in a virtual world like this or in Second Life for SUNY and Empire State College is uh, something that I was trying to emulate with this particular build. And of course, moved ahead my building skills <laughs> Uh, since I've only been in a virtual world for about nine months, maybe. So um, I'm, you know, we're hoping to bring more, more like-minded people into our Mallet program. I even met someone uh, earlier today who is actually a builder much farther along than the rest of us. So I said, please, <laughs> we need you. Um, so that was the idea behind this build. Very happy to be here. And uh, that's what I know. Thanks all for coming by.